Well, friends, we are officially one month away from America's total, total solar eclipse, and it will be visible for at least 15 states and at least partially visible to some neighboring states and making it the most accessible eclipse that we have seen here in the United States in a generation. Now, the next total eclipse will not happen until 2044. Hopefully, both of us will still be around there. So how can we all take advantage of this stellar site? Well, NASA Partnerships Manager uh, Nita Day joins me right now. Anita, great to see you here. So I can tell by the mere fact that you were smiling about this that you are over joy about this. The eclipse is such a wonderful opportunity for the entire United States. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing everybody's reactions, seeing the total uh, eclipse if they're in the path. And I'm looking forward to watching it with my daughter. It'll be a partial eclipse for us, but I want to share the experience with her. Now, walk me through uh, what's going to be happening uh, during the eclipse, because I know for a couple of minutes, for some of us, we will have totality in, in layman's terms. That means darkness. Yeah, that's right. So what happens during an eclipse? The moon covers the face of the sun and it casts a shadow on the earth. And so there is a path of totality that is a path where the sun will be completely covered by the moon. And then the rest of the United States will have a partial eclipse. So in New York, you will have a thin sliver of sun left uh, during the eclipse. So it'll still be a beautiful, beautiful sight uh, to behold. Now, some areas could end up receiving some cloud cover. So will they be able to experience this? Let's keep our fingers crossed for good weather for everybody. Uh, the cloud cover could be a problem, but, you know, if you have clouds, please follow the uh, NASA broadcast. If you go to go.nasa.gov slash eclipse 2024, you can find out uh, where you can watch. You can watch on nasa.gov. The broadcast is from 1 to 4 p.m. Eastern time. Now, how is this one going to be different than the one that we saw in 2017? Yeah, so the path of this eclipse is different than in 2017. This one is going to go from Texas to Maine. Uh, the eclipse in 2017 was going west uh, through the western United States. So this eclipse has more people along the path. The path itself is wider, so more people will be in totality. Uh, this eclipse will last a little bit longer. The last one, um, it, totality lasted for about two minutes. And here, totality will last for about four minutes, depending on where you are. Mm, What's right. also special about... Go ahead, Anita, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, what's also special about this one, right now the sun is approaching solar maximum. So the sun is very active. It goes through cycles and it's very active right now. So for those in the path of totality, when the sun is completely covered by the moon, you'll be able to see the sun's outer atmosphere, the corona, and that will look more tangled uh, and maybe a little bit more like Albert Einstein's hair because of the solar maximum period.